Yes, I can play over 100 frames now, and it doesn't kill OBS. All right, guys. So NVIDIA just released an actually pretty impressive update that allows you to implement DLSS and frame generation to your games, even if it's not natively supported. This only works if you have a 4000 or 5000 series GPU, but I'm going to give you guys a little quick one down on how you can apply this to your games and get almost double and sometimes triple your frame rate depending on the game. So what you're going to do is you're going to open your NVIDIA app here, and then you're going to go to graphics over here on the bottom left, and we're going to go ahead and test out Armor Reef. Forger. You guys know I play a lot of Reforger on stream and we know Reforger doesn't necessarily run the best uh, and you know typically the frame rate can be kind of low sometimes but you can actually double your frame rate on Reforger or games like Helldivers or even Star Citizen uh, by using this on games that do not support DLSS. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go for uh, you're going to go to the bottom under driver settings you're going to have to look for smooth motion here. This is what smooth motion is. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Reforger and I'm gonna show you guys the frame rate that we get without it on. And then we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna show you the frame rate difference. So typically when I play Armor Reforger at like max graphic settings, I'll get like 60 to 100 frames depending on where I'm at. So we'll try and join like a populated server here. But I, I've noticed a huge difference in this. And a lot of you guys are probably gonna say, but clean, frame gen causes input lag and blah, 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 blah. You're right, it does. But it only causes input lag if you have a very low baseline FPS, you're going under 60 FPS and it's fluctuating a lot. When you're using frame gen below 60 FPS, it's gonna cause a lot of input lag depending on your PC. Whereas if you're getting like 60 FPS or even triple digit number FPS natively without frame gen, you're not gonna get input lag. It's just not, it's, you're not gonna notice it at all. So the higher the base frame rate of the game, the more you're gonna get out of the frame generation. It's gonna feel smoother. Okay, so we're getting in here. We're gonna go spawn at MOB. MOB is usually pretty like performance heavy because there's a lot of vehicles and players around and, and so on. So again, you can see my FPS on the top left and on the top right. Okay, so we're getting, let's see. We're getting roughly 60, 70. Yeah, about 60, 70 FPS here. You know, it feels pretty good. Okay, so we're getting about 70, 70 FPS there at MOB. So now let's go ahead and we're gonna close the game. We're gonna enable smooth motion uh, here for Reforger. So smooth motion, turn that on. It's also gonna turn on low latency by default uh, because frame gen and or smooth motion does cause some input lag. Having a low latency helps with that. But again, if, as long as your baseline FPS is at least 60 or higher, you're not really gonna notice uh, input lag. And it also does have some other factors like your monitor and your mouse and stuff like that too. But again, in my experience, as long as your baseline FPS is, is high, you're not really gonna have a problem or notice any fucking input lag at all. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, that's saved, it's good to go. Let's go ahead and reopen the game. Once we get in there though, it is gonna be kind of hard for you guys to notice the refresh rate, cause I have a 240 hertz monitor. So it's like, when, when I'm over 100 FPS or getting close to 200, like I can really feel the difference. It's very fucking smooth. Um, but when you guys are kind of looking through the video here or on stream, you're not really gonna notice it, but you at least will see like the, the difference in frame rate here. So let's go ahead and rejoin. Okay, so now we got smooth motion on. We're all loaded in and you can see in the top left steam is picking us up at 120 fps but the frame rate counter in game is still picking up the client side fps what's actually interesting is my native fps in game actually went down a little bit but my frame rate is definitely at 120 100 plus right now because i can feel the difference in the refresh rate when i move around so you can see we we almost doubled our fps here or damn near i do find it interesting that our baseline fps from what the game is picking up because the game can't pick up the frame gen from smooth motion but the steam overlay can I find that to be kind of interesting. Uh, but like I said, guys, this is a pretty great setting um, and I would definitely recommend you test it out, see if it works for you on a variety of different games. Make sure that your baseline FPS is at least 60 on your current graphical settings. So that way you're not noticing a lot of input lag. But hopefully this guy helps you out. Again, you can also apply this to a lot of other games. Like I said, you can you can utilize it on Star Citizen. I was using it on Helldivers last night. Normally when I'm playing Helldivers at max graphic settings, even with my system with a 5090, like I'll, I'll be anywhere from like 60 to 70 frames, sometimes less depending on how much shit's going on screen. But with smooth motion on, I was at like 100 plus FPS the entire session when I was playing last night. It felt super smooth, very butter. It was really, really, really nice. Um, so yeah, again, if you guys don't know, smooth motion, super sick. Uh, again, you can use it on a variety of different games that don't natively support it. Um, I would actually be kind of curious to try it on DayZ to see if that even actually works. Because um, I think DayZ is DX11, so it should probably work. But yeah, guys, that's basically the video. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.